Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate the steps to create a basic tabular report with a chart using Microsoft Power BI and Oracle Database as the data source. Microsoft Power BI is a very useful tool that provides business analytics service for end users to create their own reports and dashboards. The desktop version of this tool is a free to download tool and I have given below the link to download it. I'm going to skip the steps to download and install because they are pretty much simple and the learners can do that on their own. Now let's create a tabular report with a chart and Oracle database as a data source. When you start the desktop version of the application, you will get an interface like this. It will start with a flash screen that has some useful links, including the projects that you already started or you saved and a couple of other useful features of the software. For now, I'm going to skip this. I'm directly going to the interface of the application where we are going to design the report. The application will start with a blank untitled project. Let's first save the project. Let's give it a name, say test report. In the interface, at the leftmost corner, you'll be able to see three icons here. So these are the report, the data, and the model. So these three objects will create your full report. Let's start with getting the data first, which we will be able to get from here. Get data. Click there. You'll have a lot of options here. The common data sources as Excel sheets, Power BI data sets, Power BI data flows, SQL Server, and many more. In our case, we are going to use the Oracle database as the data source. Click more, then it will give you a full list of all the options available. Click on the database and you will see the options for databases here, which can be used as your data source. So let's click Oracle database, click connect. Now here to connect to an Oracle database, we need a couple of things the connection parameters and the credentials. So the connection parameters are a combination of the database host or the server name, the port, that's the listener port for the database and the SID of the database. That's usually the name of the database. So in our test case, we have a server, we have the IP address of the server and if you already have a fully qualified name for that server, which is already resolved by your DNS server, you can also put that fully qualified name, like say xyz dot say myhome.com or something like that. In our case, we are using the IP address. It's a local database in, in, in my home network. It's, it has a IP address. I'm putting it here, 192 dot 168.1.107 then we need to specify the port the listener port we use a colon here and the port 1521 then we put a slash here and the name of the database or the SID which is in our case cat db Next, you need to select the data connectivity mode. The two options here, import and direct query. So the import option is something that you will use when you know that the underlying data for the report is not changed very frequently. Say it changes only uh, once a day. In that case, you can schedule the import, the data to the report, to refresh the data in the report periodically. You'll use the second option, that is the direct query, when you know that the underlying data changes very frequently. And every time a user extracts the report, it should show the latest or the refreshed data. So basically, when you use the direct query method, every time you run the report, it will execute the query against the database for which you have provided the connection details. Now, in our case, we are going to use the import method. 
and then in the op advanced options the command timeout in minutes this is optional if you think that if it is not able to extract the data before one minute or two minute or a specified time period then you can put the limit there and even if you keep it blank that is fine in our case we'll we'll leave it blank because the query that we are going to use is a simple one that will run within a second or so so we'll just leave it blank and in the second box we'll specify the sql query that is going to be run it's a simple query and we are going to extract the database objects available and their type and the count basically it's going to show us the different object types and their count in the database so we'll use this simple query here select object type count star from dba objects where no sorry no where objects group by object type and you click ok here then in the next screen it's going to ask you to provide the credentials so our credentials will be database credentials we'll select the database option here and provide the username so in our case we are going to use system user and the password and click connect and it is connected executed the query and also it has produced a sample output that's going to be there in our report so it's an object type and the count now we'll click load that will actually load the data into the report it will take a few seconds and the data is loaded now we have to display the data in our required format and our format is a tabular report with a chart on it so to produce that output we'll select the table option here the list of there's a list of different objects available here to display your data so we'll select the table format here we click on the table icon there and a table is appeared now in the right hand side of that list of objects we'll see the query and its output the columns and from there we'll select the first column drag it and put it there into the table object here and then the count So your very basic tabular form of the report is ready here. Now you can move this object to different part of the report. Say we'll put it in the middle. So to move it, you just need to drag this box by holding in these three dots, which you can move to different part of this canvas. So we'll place it here. Now we need a chart. So click anywhere on this canvas so that the focus is not on this table. Otherwise, if you click on any other objects in this list, this table object will also change to that new object type. So we, we don't want that. We want this table to be here plus one pie chart to be in this place. So we'll click here and we click on the pie chart it's appearing in the canvas then we'll drag it to this location and we'll select the data that will be represented by this pie chart so that is nothing but the object type we'll put there and the count drag and drop there in the in that pie chart object and make it a little bigger so 
it's visible and your pie chart is ready so this makes a very basic report and how to customize this report make beautifications or putting a heading all these things we'll cover in the next video